Shalawam, I want to say Tawada, Yahweh, Bashem, Awashai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, for giving us the understanding of the Holy Bible through the Holy Spirit and more so through their men. That star with the apostles of Great Millstone who are worthy of double honors. And I want to say Yahweh, Bashem, Awashai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Brakatham, to the 144,000 servants of Yahweh, Bashem, Awashai, and the remaining elect of the nation of Israel. Now, I just came across this article or this headline that I want to share with the brothers. A headline that we ought to take heed to. It says, Pfizer CEO says people who spread misinformation on the you know what are criminals. Okay. And pretty much what we're seeing here is an element of persecution, which is a part of this truth. And that's down the pipe. And what we're seeing here is also going to lead to the fulfillment of the famine of the word, Amos 8 verse 11. Okay, and as is written in 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, all right, those of us that's within this truth. We're not ignorant of um, the agenda of the wicked elite of Esau, Edom, especially as it pertains to our gospel, okay, what we're propagating. Okay, which is the truth, the truth of the Holy Bible. And we're not ignorant to the fact that what we're saying is very detrimental to um, Esau's Novus Ordo Seclorum. All right. Uh, that reminds me of what it says in the book of Job, the 20th chapter, about how he shall be in straits when he's about to bring about his Novus Ordo Seclorum. And that's the time frame that we're living in right now. Okay, this word that we're preaching is becoming an issue for the wicked elite of Esau, Edom. That's why we're seeing headlines like this, okay? Now, we'll go to the first scripture, and then we'll get into that article, Lord willing. But the first scripture that came to mind was this here in the book of Isaiah, chapter 29. And I believe the point is around verse 20 or 21. Let's see. Yeah, the point is here in verse 21, but we'll start. In verse 20, for context sake, it says, For the terrible one is brought to naught. And the terrible one is referring to Esau, Edom, the Edomites, which are the so-called white people. But more importantly, the wicked elite of Esau, Edom. Okay, It says, For the terrible one is brought to naught. And the Lord is bringing Esau to naught. First and foremost, through these scriptures, through this word. As it's written in what's that? Um, Second Thessalonians chapter two verse eight. The Lord said through the apostle Paul about how he was going to consume these Edomites through the spirit of his mouth, and that's what the Lord is doing by way of his servants, the prophets, beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone on down. And then when our Lord Yahweh Shai returns with the holy angels, that's when our Lord is going to, you know, bring Esau to naught on a physical level. Okay, during the time of World War Three, but it starts with this word, you know, that's going out. So it says, "For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner, which are these different scoffers, is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off again." The ones that's watching for iniquity begins with the wicked elite of Esau, Edom, and our Lord is going to cut them off very shortly. Okay, very soon. Here's the point in verse 21. That make a man an offender for a word. What type of man? A man of the Lord. Right? Those of us that's, you know, propagating this word, that's preaching this word, mainly out there on the street corners, on the highways and byways. And, you know, those of us that's doing these different videos on the YouTube in the name of Yahweh Bashmi or Shai, well, we're about to be made offenders for our gospel, this word, okay, the word of truth. That's why we're reading this here in the headline. Pfizer CEO says people who spread misinformation on the you know what are criminals. That make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare, which is a trap for him that reproveth in the gate. Again, referring to us brothers that's out there on the street corners, reproving Esau, Edom to his face. It says, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. 
Let's get another one. Let's go to the book of Lamentations, chapter 4. And let's see, verse 18. Yep, it says, They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets, which, like I said, what we're seeing here ultimately is going to lead to Amos chapter 8, verse 11, whereby our Lord is going to bring about a famine of the word. All right, there's going to come a time when you're not going to see the brothers out there, the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways out there on the street corners because. Esau is going to outlaw us preaching out there, okay? That time is coming. As a matter of fact, let's get that real quick in the book of Amos, chapter 8, and verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashma was shy, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, in which that's what a famine is, that's what a physical famine is, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And how do you hear the words of Yahweh Bashmael Shai? How do you hear the true words of our Lord by way of his servants, the prophets? Because we're his mouthpiece. You can read about that in the book of Hosea, chapter 12, verse 10. So that's why it says in Isaiah 55, verse 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Because the famine of hearing the words of our Lord, which will lead to salvation, you know, is shortly coming to an end. And this is why you're seeing so many of our channels, so many of our videos being struck on YouTube. You know, a lot of our channels get strikes, a lot of our videos get removed. And the days of you having the luxury of seeing the prophets out there on the highways and byways or on the YouTube is coming to an end. Lamentations 4 verse 18, it says, they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets, yeah, to preach. Our end is near, the end of this gospel being propagated is near. We know that pursuant to Matthew 24 and verse 14, let's get that. Matthew 24. And verse 14 says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And that's happening as we speak, mainly through the YouTube. It says, And then shall the end come. Yeah, the end of Esau's world is coming to an end, pursuant to Second Ezra 6, verse 9. So it says here again in Lamentation 4 verse 18, they hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. And we can link that up with what it says a few verses down, you know, concerning our captivity coming to an end and Esau's um, judgment just beginning. All right, you can read that in Lamentation 4 verse 21 which is good news, right? That's a part of the gospel that we're at the end of our bid, so to speak, as Hebrew Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites being our so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, primarily over here in North America, Babylon the Great. And we're waiting upon our Lord's return to deliver the elect of Israel over here and around the world, pursuant to Matthew 24, verse 31. And we know that the end of Esau's world is the beginning of ours, Again, referring to Second Ezra 6, verse 9. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Now, let's see what they're saying here. It says, people who spread misinformation on the you-know-what are criminals and have cost millions of lives, Pfizer CEO Albert Bola said Tuesday. And you better believe us brothers are at the forefront of what Esau is saying here. OK, so don't be surprised if they, you know, come knocking at the door or if they round, you know, certain of us up, you know, on these street corners, because that time is coming. OK, the time of persecution, as a matter of fact. Um, let's get another scripture. Let's go to the book of Revelation. Chapter two. And verse 10, it says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, 
And this devil is speaking about our enemy, Esau, Edom. Again, beginning with the wicked elite of these Edomites. They're the devil. And as a matter of fact, if you go into this word devil, you'll find the Greek word diablos, which means to be an accuser. And, you know, very shortly, you know, those of us that's a part of this ministry, we're going to be accused um, of treason. Okay, we're going to be accused of treason and coming up against the government. And ye shall have tribulation, which is a time of trouble, 10 days, which is a period of time. It could be 10 days, less than 10 days, more than 10 days, where it's going to be a complete number of days where, you know, certain brothers are going to catch hell. Okay, it says, be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. Right, because certain brothers are going to be martyrs for the word of Yahweh Bashma Shai. That's how they're going to glorify Yahweh Bashma Shai in the flesh, you know, by giving up their life, so to speak, for the witness, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the prophesying of this gospel. Okay, and can you read more about that in the book of Revelation 20? Anyway, back here it says, speaking with Washington, D.C. Based think tank, Atlantic Council, Bola said, there's a very small group of people that purposely circulate misinformation on the shots, misleading those who are already hesitant about getting the you know what. Okay, and like I said, pretty much what we're seeing here is Esau admitting that they're in straits. Okay. They're in straits. They're in a position of difficulty concerning their novus order sacrorum, their new world order. And that's pursuant to you the book of Job, chapter 20. And I believe you can read from verse 22 on down. But that's pretty much what I'm going to read from this article. You know, I just want to bring this out. You know, this is just a heads up as to what's happening in the background. And, um, you know, persecution is on the way. So Lord willing, you brothers and sisters either were edified and Lord willing, we'll catch you in the next one. Shalom.